Yes, maybe I should just do this as a continuation of my last video, though it took some time before I could compile, uh, come up with this, you know. Um, and that's talking about the woman who, you know, supposedly told, told the passport of her husband. Yes, that woman, you know, told the passport of her husband at the uh, airport. And then, you know, she was invited by the uh, Nigerian Immigration Service and then, um, you know, flown to Abuja. And of course, um, coming up now to say that it was a skit, that was too expensive a skit. That was too expensive a skit. Though she said that they said that um, the passport of the husband is intact and nobody's passport was actually torn, but something was torn. However, the picture, you see whether it was the real passport that was torn or not, you painted a picture. And the picture is a very wrong picture about the image of Nigeria in the sense that the Nigerian passport belongs to Nigeria, not to anybody. We are only using it for transit. You understand? And, you know, we, I mean, most of, most people also use it for ID, you know, to know, you know, where you're from and all of that. But then that somebody will not come up in the name of wanting to be popular. And then this guy is going to the point of even, you know, going forward to talk about situations and saying that, oh, I've gone through a lot and all of that. They were even still doing video after that. Or could it be that it was when they saw that the problem, there was problem brewing that the husband or the wife tried to make up a story out of it saying that it was a skit or it was a content creation. But then if it was a content creation, it was a very big and expensive one. Secondly, if it wasn't a skit and that was the real thing, it was real. Then, like I said in my first video, we've got to be coming down. We've got to be coming down. Sincerely speaking, anger rests in the bosom of fools and a fool is somebody who says there is no God or let me now say, let me not sound religious, a fool is somebody who does not think before doing things, who does things first before now thinking about it. You know, Apostle Paul said, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I'm not saying that children are fools now, but when it comes to thinking, there is a way a child will think, then there is a way an adult will think. Adulthood is associated with wisdom. And that was what Job told his friend. He said, ah, I used to, I think that, I thought wisdom has to do with age. Yes, yes, that's true. Yes, we expect that with age, you would have had certain level of experience which should have culminated in wisdom for you. So we've got to be very, very careful so as to be able to manage our emotions properly and also do the right thing so as not to get into trouble, you know, uh, you know, uh, as we live and, you know, enjoy the, you know, this very bit of life. Because I've always, like I would always say, eternity is more than what we are doing here. So you live for a hundred years, you're still a youth. That's what the Bible says. So going back to that, to that, the story of that woman, personally, I feel it's a very expensive, it's a very expensive skit for which I still think that she needs to be punished. They need to be punished. Whether they conjure to do it, the husband and the wife conjure to do it, they both need to be punished for it by the Nigerian Immigration Service or they should pay a fine for doing that so as to serve as a deterrent for others not to do the same thing. It is it is the height of it to use the Nigerian passport. You know, you know, look at the way we are being treated outside the country. Well, crying out loud, for us to now be making the mincemeat or to making fun out of you know the mess in which we already found ourselves it's too much it's too much that's going too far and so please do feel free to drop your comment make them simple and simple let us know what your opinions are of course this is your opinion here at only tv my name is olukun labrams of course i expect that you will enjoy the best of today and of course the weekend ahead god bless you bye bye